Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the JF17 Early Access and we're looking at air-to-air -air refueling which has just been added in 1st of April 2020. The first thing I want to show is that we can add or remove the air-to-air -air refueling probe or the jet inside the mission editor. So if I click on this guy here, we go to our additional properties here and we can remove the air-to-air -air refueling probe if we like. Now we're going to show how you can remove it or add it in game we're in a cold static plane we're going to press the communications menu button we're going to click on ground crew there air to air refueling probe there we can uninstall or install if we want hey welcome back there is a tanker ahead of us this is the first time i've actually tried this and the first thing i know is the massive size of that probe i don't know if it's going to stay like that but that is really big so be it let's uh, go and find the tanker now i'm going to use easy communications here which means i do not have to use the radio properly i would do need to do that if i wasn't using easy communications so with easy communications on i'm going to press communications menu i'm going to select the tanker there I'm going to intend to refuel, one, wait for him to get back to me. You can see he uh, gives us his altitude and his velocity. Note that if we did need to use the radio, therefore we'd need his frequency, uh, ways to find his frequency would be left, alt and bravo to bring it up this briefing here and it would usually be written, written somewhere in there. Otherwise right shift in kilo, it could also be in one of the pages in the knee ball. Right, let's go and get near the tanker. We'll start by lining on the left. Okay, comes to foremost with the tanker. I'm going to go in first, RC. So, I need to set my configuration switch here. Air-to-air -air refueling up for all tanks, off or internal only. We're going to go internal only in this case. And I'm going to move into formation with the tanker. And when I am in formation with the tanker, I'm going to press F1 for ready pre-contact. Up on the top right screen, you can see. Ready, Clear contact, so once you say clear contact, that means I can go in for the drogue. I'll see you're free to uh, move into the other slot when you like. And okay. I'm going to just keep as controlled as I can. Now, what I'm not going to do is charge into this uh, drogue. I'm just going to fly in formation with the drogue with as small a movement as I possibly can with the throttle. In fact, I'll show it there as I possibly can. Constantly moving the throttle backwards and forwards, taking into account the lag of the engine. And just be patient. And I'm gonna, when I can, I'm going to drive her in very slowly. What I'm going to try and avoid doing is grabbing at the basket, which is a very difficult thing to avoid doing. But in terms of positioning, this is actually my first time, so we'll just see how it goes. But as long as I've got the probe in the periphery, I should get a good idea. Oh, you get. Let's go and try that again. Have you got any advice, RC? No, I mean, I've only done it twice and I'm not a great refueler anyways, Roger. but I was just able to, I was kind of able to sit back and see the end of the probe, just the, just the tip, kind of guided Roger. that way. Finding problems, hard to kind of getting it in the right position. Personally. Once I got it close, it hooked up. Oh, there we so. go. Right. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to try with the air brake out actually. I just need a bit more resistance in this, it might help. See at the top right of the HUD, by the way, you can see my amount of uh, fuel in pounds. Now, by adding some air brake, I've put some more resistance, some more work the engine has to do. It's going to give me a bit more control over the engine revs, um, and it means I can brake a bit quicker as well, uh, which is always going to be quite useful. Right, now when I do these pollens, uh, drogues, I like to come in from the left, and, and swing into them to the right even if my boom is on the right hand side it's a personal preference and it is not particularly recommended it's just how I like to do it right, I'm going to resist the urge to grab at the thing Contact. okay I'm in You're fuel. right now what I've got to do is try and avoid, avoid PIO, pilot induced oscillations, which I'm doing now. I'm just going to stop talking for a minute. Well done, I'll see. Fuel is going up. Should be seeing your Quite fuel a fast flow. Yeah, I am, but I have to bend my head down to do it, so I'm not going to do it. I'm going to look at the HUD. Yeah, I'll watch that. And now, what I'll suggest is putting some curves on your stick for this, in your setup. I've not done that, which is why I'm a bit bouncy. 
Um, I just keep, never seem to get around to it. But some curve on the pitch and the roll of your stick would definitely aid doing this. I'm just going to fly with it. So my suggestion is find a place on the tanker as a reference point. I'm using those two googly eye things on the side of the tanker, if you can see those googly eyes. And I'm trying to keep the googly eyes in exactly the same place in my screen all the time. Yeah, I did it. Wow. Not bad for a first time. So, recommendations. I found it a lot easier with air breakout. That would be my suggestion. It's probably not proper protocol, but there you go. Find a reference point on the tanker. Definitely go and put some curves in your stick because this is, otherwise it's just too tetchy to move about. It's really difficult. Now, obviously, approach from the side of the tanker so you don't get caught in its wake. Go and try it out and uh, enjoy it.